Taurus, welcome to your January tarot forecast. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, we're going to look at the current energies around you at this time. Now I say at this time, this will be out before January, but I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So this is intended for whenever you see it, tell whenever. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just for the month of January. But if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists on my channel, feel free. Your play playlists are below in the description box, so you can check that out. And there's a ton of um, ton of other type of information down there, too. Um, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram, your playlist. So there's a ton of stuff, so feel free to check it out. So, Taurus, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome. Happy uh, December. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. So we may get love, we may get general. We're just going to take the energies as they come. And whatever comes out um, will be your energy, hopefully. If not, you know, take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading this time, but next time may be. All right, so Taurus. This is Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or a planet. If you don't resonate with this part, totally, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see what we have here. We have Gemini. So you could have a Gemini around you in some way, shape or form, or you could have it in your chart um, or somebody around you. So we'll see here. So with this deck here, I'm going to pull an opening message for you and then um, like your current energy with this deck, we'll go over the bottom of the deck and then we'll use this tarot here to um, do a spread to get more clarification on all the energy and then at the end we'll get some closing messages with that deck so let's see what's going on with Taurus at this time spirit please thank you so much what do we have for Taurus well I guess that's your message yin number two so I do believe and two is about you know unity partnership people coming together being you know very harmonious and peaceful and yin, uh, I believe, yin, I believe, is the feminine energy. So if you aren't masculine uh, watching this, then maybe you are balancing your feminine energy. <laughs> the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information, and taking in cues, <clears throat> excuse me, cues, the art of conscious allowing. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And I just noticed here, Taurus, your two... Yin is two, and then Gemini is three. So we got two, three. Hmm, okay. So let's see here. What is Taurus's energy right now? Or there could be a need to balance feminine energies, whether you're feminine, masculine, watching this. Uh, something in feminine energy may need to be balanced, or something like that. So let's see, all that glitters. So this is 16. And six, uh, 16 represents seven. Seven is, you know, a spiritual divinely guided number. But seven, like in the tarot, has many different meanings. Uh, one of the meanings is it can be a very deceptive, discerning um, energy. And all that glitters here is something um, look, appearing one way, but deep down it's another. So not as it seems. So I'm just going to read a little bit about... Um, that card, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercur mercurial, mercurial, whatever that means. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, well, so yeah, so, you know, I, I definitely feel like here with all that glitters that maybe someone you or someone around you may be pretending someone to be somebody that they're not maybe wearing a mask um but you see like this this curtain here like kind of falling away so there may be a mask falling away it could be a feminine energy or something so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have a change in the wind which is three which is about teamwork collaboration working together teamwork compromise so that's been coming out a lot in the readings. So I'm just going to read a little snippet on that card. 
a sense that unseen change has been initiated for pre preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift, uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. So somebody may not be sure how something will go, what's going to happen, because I feel like somebody may be being may be being fake, not true. Somebody may not be telling the truth. Could be a feminine energy. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So let's get energy here. What's going on with you, Taurus? Taurus. I feel like somebody's not being their true selves because you see, you know, the mask, and that's all about covering things up. Um, some, you know, or maybe, you know, if you're a feminine watching this, you may be feeling that you can feel a change coming in the wind. Uh, and it may have to do with somebody who is wearing a false mask that maybe something is coming, something's going to change. All right, so let's see, because you kind of see, um, there's a woman, you can barely see her face looking down into the uh, bowl there. So, and then her face is down here too, so it's almost like a reflection. All right, so why is all this energy here for Taurus? Okay, I'm feeling you know, one, two, three, four, okay. So... So we have Queen of the Ocean, Abundance. So this is the Empress, and I had said feminine energy. So here's that feminine energy. This is the Empress energy. And then we got Two of Swords, uh, being indecisive about something here. So we have an Empress energy, could be a mother, a wife kind of energy, but someone's being, inde being indecisive. And then we have here Death, Transformation. So, and then we have the Eight, of pentacles which is about you know working hard at something and achieving something so we have abundance crossroads transformation and achievement so let's get one more okay but then we have the two of cups energy which is about that unity with the two on the in there so I feel like somebody's at a crossroads at, uh, there's a transformation here, an abundance to be had. If it, it can be worked on and can be achieved, this can be a soulmate union. But there needs to be transformation here on somebody's part. And it could be the person here wearing this mask. Um, so there has to be a change here so there can be a transformation because we're changing the wind there. So there needs to be a letting go of old ways of thinking, old thought, old ways of, you know, beliefs, um, things of that energy, or need to let go of something that's not serving somebody. So there can be a transformation. I feel like this partnership can be worked on. We got two, uh, two twos here, and we got two and two there. Wow. And this is three. The Empress is three. Wow. So let's get a couple more to clarify this energy. I feel like somebody's wearing a mask and they're not stepping up to the plate and like fully transforming this situation. Um, but if this can be transformed and people can decide, yeah, so here's the four of swords is about healing, recovery. So this is healing energy. This is, you know, thinking, contemplate, contemplating, taking time alone, resting, rejuvenating. Kind of energy so somebody definitely yeah so loss so somebody is scared of loss i think the seven of swords they're scared of being deceived um they may be wearing a false mask thinking you know everything's fine maybe they're hiding how they truly feel you know it could be it could even be a masculine that is not balancing out his feminine side like his energy I feel like somebody has a fear of being deceived. They may feel like somebody's wearing a mask and they're not being honest. But I feel like that person's not being honest with themselves that this other person indeed is in their emperor, emperor or empress power here. doesn't matter. Somebody is 100% um, who they are. 
They know who they are. They have self-value worth. They have a lot to give and offer. They're ready for this new beginning. But this other person's deceiving themselves and preventing this two of cups to, from happening and not putting in the work in with the eight of pentacles energy. Oh, let's get a couple more. Oh. Ace of Wands. There's a fiery, passionate new beginning can be had here. Growth. There's growth to be had here, but somebody's hesitant. They're scared of being um, deceived. They're scared of loss. They're, you know, have a fear of getting their heart broken. I feel like they could be blocking the connection here with the Two of Swords. I mean, this isn't a love connection reading, but I feel like it's turning into a love reading. So, you know, I say now with the generals, I used to just read it general, not love, because I do separate love readings, but now I take the energy however they come out. If it's love, then it's going to be about love. And you see a lot of pink in that card, which does represent love. So Six of Swords. So this is, you know, that healing energy, balanced energy going into a better place of peace and harmony. So now we're downgrading from the seven to the six. So I feel like it could be somebody was in this past energy before of being hesitant and reluctant of their emperor or empress because they were afraid of getting hurt, afraid of loss. Um, they were afraid to transform something here. So they might have went off, took some time alone and healed and thought about it and said, you know what? They could be very passionate, you know, about you or you, them, however. But, you know, changing the wind here, knowing, you know, something needs to change. Because we have, you know, feminine, feminine. Someone finally probably realizing, you know what, this is my divine feminine. So, so I feel like somebody, even though they were hesitant in the past, I think they could be transforming now or going through that transformation of dropping this mask, wanting to work on it, wanting soulmate union. Now, you know, they were feeling, you know, fear of deceit and loss, but now they're feeling more calm and ready to come into this union, you know, might have been indecisive before, whether it's you or them, however this works out for you. I think they went and found, you know, went, found some time alone here and recovered and rested, recuperated and healed and now going through a transformation here. But it is right under the feminine energy. So it could be you that's watching this if you're feminine or if you're masculine, can be your feminine. Uh, however this resonates for you, take it how it resonates. So... But there's the fiery, passionate new beginning, uh, growth, expansion. So let's see your advice. Whoever's watching this, let's get advice for you, whether you're a cross watcher or um, you're watching this for your person. So they got to Ten of Wands here. So this is about burdens, laying down burdens, ending burdens. Two of Wands, so vision, making decisions and plans for the future. Making a choice. So we got two, 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 all about choice and unity coming together. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five twos here. Wow. You add that together, that's ten. And then ten equals one, the brand new beginning, which is here with the Ace of Wands. Wow. All right, so let's get a couple more for your advice. The Hermit, Virgo energy here. So contemplation, again right over here with the Four of Swords. So I think fi someone finally seen, saw the light with the Hermit. They thought about it, they contemplated, they realized, okay, this is my person, my feminine, my masculine, whatever here. And now realizing, you know, I need to lay down the burdens of the past that were weighing me down, my mind, my body, my soul, that were holding me back from my soulmate union or whatever here. And now wanting to make plans and decisions for the future, whether it's you, or them, somebody needs to lay down these burdens, maybe do some more deep deep down soul searching so they can make and envision what it would be like. And I got that message before I even did this reading, before I even came on camera, envisioning or, or having that vision of what it would actually be like to be with your soulmate or your divine, uh, divine counterpart. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Okay, a cup. So understanding so now understanding so someone's coming to an understanding now and they're envisioning what it would be like to be with their soulmate their divine their divine counterpart or somebody needs to uh, visualize that 
and understand this is a divine counterpart situation here. And there needs to be a change. Masks need to fall. The in feminine, whether it's feminine, masculine energy, I don't know. But something with feminine energy needs to be balanced. Could be just the masculine's feminine energy. Getting more in tune and in touch with these emotions and feelings. You know, whoever's watching this. So, possible outcome here is the star. So, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. Healing energy. Divinely guided energy. This always tells me the star, especially when it turns out to be like a love reading, the star is bringing divinely guided soulmates together. Wow. And I'm feeling like very kind of like emotional. And that's what that King of Cups. So somebody could now be realizing, you know, and getting very emotional now, ready to drop that mask. All right. So let's get a couple more for the possible outcome for you here. Taurus, Ace of Cups. Oh my God. I can't make this up. Brand new beginning in love. Someone's ready now. This brand new beginning in love. They're ready to drop the facade, the mask. Now realizing the love, the emotions, the feelings, the divinely guided energy, divine counterpart energy, envisioning what it would be like to be, you know, maybe in that hermit energy, envisioning what it would be like to be with their actual divine counterpart. Wow. All right. So let's get one more here. Now we got the King of Swords. Wow. Two kings. So they're... <laughs> King or queen, I don't know, but someone, ha now we got the empress and now we got two kings here. So I'm not getting like third party energy. I'm feeling like now this person is, there's no knights here. There's no pages here yet. We'll go, we will go over the bottom of the deck, but there's no knights. There's no pages. There isn't even any queens here. Except for the empress here, which embodies all the queens. But this person here, whether male or female, is almost at your level because now they're coming out as two kings king of swords for having that truth and clarity integrity and standing up for the what they believe in cutting away the bs not taking any bs telling it like it is truth and clarity having clarity and now feeling their emotions because they went from the seven that fear deceitful energy to the six okay more calm and peaceful now i'm in my emotions and now i'm seeing the truth and clarity and now we have the passion, we have the love, the healing, the divinely guided energy. Wow. <laughs> and then we got the wheel of fortune. Holy crap. So destiny. I can't make this up. Destiny, fate, destiny, divine timing. Bring two soulmates together. Wheel of fortune. Wow. Things going in a better direction to what? Success here with the six of wands. Success and victory here. So, Vortex, Temptation, this is uh, Devil Energy. And then we have the Angel of the Ocean with Temperance. So, we have the Devil and Temperance. So, tempering out, you know, we did have the Ace of Wands there. So, could be a very strong, passionate uh, connection also. And a very loving connection at the same time. So, balancing those energies between love and passion. And the uh, Temperance Angel here brings the two soulmates together like being swept up through the vortex of this soulmate divine counterpart union eight of cups so change change in the wind change i can't make this up so things changing here six of cups there's that soulmate union there's the soulmate six of cups reflection thinking back could have had past lives with this person maybe you've known them for a long time since childhood energy here and the chariot <laughs> moving forward with success, drive, passion. And there's the balance. Chariot is about moving forward to success with a lot of uh, balance and drive ambition kind of energy. And then the lovers. Soulmate union with the lovers. Oh my God, I can't make that up. Page of Cups. Here comes the love offer. Here comes the love offer with the Page of Cups. So there is a page, but we got two kings here. And then the lovers coming together in soulmate union. Very quickly, I feel once this change uh, happens... Soulmate union with the Six of Cups. Could have had past lives. Change in the wind. Change. Making changes here. Walking to their, coming to their soulmate. Healing. Balancing energy. Balancing the love and the uh, passion. Success and victory here. And fate and destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Taurus. That's quite a reading here. So we have Sagittarius. 
we have Capricorn, we have Sagittarius again, we have uh, Cancer, Cancer uh, Gemini, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and then over here with the um, Empress, we have Libra and Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So those are the signs I see. So they may or may not mean anything in Gemini over there, which we had Gemini with the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Wow. I feel uh, masks are dropping. People realizing this is my divine counterpart, my soulmate, healing. Now ready to step up to the plate for this divine uh, union, counterpart union. Wow. Okay. Taurus. So let's get some extra messages here. Two, wow. <laughs> oh my God, this just went flying. This just went flying. I can't make this up. Opening to love. My heart is open. This person is open. You or them, whoever here is opening to love now. Their heart is open to this divine counterpart. Realization, union, and coming to get. Wow. Taurus. So let's get more messages. I do ask Taurus, if you do like my energy, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Um, I do four different readings a month. So if you subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do a general tarot forecast like this. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. I do a love connection reading, a singles reading, who's coming towards you, a spiritual reading. Sometimes it's an angel reading, a spirit message reading, uh, whatever I feel like doing. And I've also started a new series. It's a weekly element energy update. So if you're interested in that, hit the bell. You won't miss out. Thank you to everybody for your support, whether you've reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift, or just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So let's get a couple more. Oh, that's two. I just want one more message here. Okay, we'll take that one. So we have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So somebody is gaining their strength here to be brave and stand firm and come into this union here. Wow. Expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. So that miracles are going to happen here. we got the star. Wow. Soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. So uh, joy is coming with your divine counterpart here. Wow. Major transformations. Dropping mass here. Major soulmate union with the uh, lovers there. The Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Star, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Wow. Wow, Taurus. Okay, so best of luck to you, Taurus, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.